I'm Jenny Kitzinger. I'm Professor of Communications Research at Cardiff University and I co-direct the Coma and Disorders of Consciousness Research Centre. This exhibition has brought together art and research, scientific research and social science research. We've had the postcard exhibition that was words direct from families, the digital stories, which was a more in-depth insight into one family's experience, Seth Oliver's wonderful art that opened up imaginative understandings about consciousness, the shadow puppets, and then the talk with the, the neuroscientist and a reflection from families. And I think it's put together a mosaic that's become more than the sum of its parts. And as I've talked to people who've stayed for the whole three or four hours, I've seen them go on that journey. You need to look at the theory and consider it rationally and ethically, but also uh, demonstrate that in new and interesting ways. I think this was a really good example of that, um, using shadow puppetry to tell a narrative and tell a story and tell a patient's story, which I think is, is obviously the most important story. Being a lawyer, I usually look at provisions, uh, the legal provisions in the abstract. So this show gave me the opportunity to look at you know, the real experiences and how law actually works in practice. I work at a neurological centre. I look after several people that are in various states of consciousness. Um, you've got vegetative states, minimally conscious states. Listening to today, it gives you a bit more insight from, you know, the medical point of view, from relative experience. It gives you a bit more understanding and hopefully it will improve the way we look after people in those circumstances. I work in a neuro yes. rehab setting and neurological disorders setting. Quite a lot of the yeah. postcards and everything are talking about um, saving life. Whereas if these people had the choice, I think quite a, quite a lot of them would discontinue treatment. I think you know one of the things that um, will come out um, that Jenny um, often reiterates is that you have to make this decision for yourself and you have to make an advanced decision in writing. If you want to be sure that if you ever get into this situation where you are in a coma, in a permanent vegetative state, your loved ones will not be able to make the decision for you. Even if they think they know what, how you would have decided, they cannot legally do so. I've learned so much that I can take my own life and about my own family and about things that if this does happen in the future, I'll be a lot more well informed. And so actually for me, I'm really glad that I came because I now know more about what I can do in the future. I'm a doctor and I work with people uh, with dementia and various other brain conditions. I was very interested to hear about the arts angle and looking at things and debating things in a different way. I think the postcards are very powerful. The family's messages, I think, I think that's, you know, something that, that needs to be heard more. And also I like the digital stories. I think they're really, um, an interesting way of capturing something. It sort of paints a picture of someone very quickly and what they were about very quickly. You didn't have to read something very lengthy or absorb a lot of information. It was just very immediate. I'm really pleased that some of the funding for this exhibition came from organisations like the Wellcome Trust, like the Learned Society of Wales, who are interested in opening up public debate about science and medicine and therefore help resource these very experimental and risky ventures where you're trying to engage a wider public and do exploratory art. What's been lovely is so many people have said, would you bring this exhibition to their care home, their library, their university? So I think this is just a beginning.